Have you ever wondered how Japan became a global leader in video game innovation? The evolution started with Sega's heavyweight champ in the 70s, leading the action game genre. Soon, Data East's karate champ brought martial arts to the forefront. Sony's Ken Kutaragi revolutionized with the first PlayStation, while Gunpei Yokoi's Game Boy altered altered handheld gaming. Nintendo's systems too played a major role. The early years of video game development in Japan set the for a revolution in gaming that would captivate the world. The 1990s saw Japan break new ground in video game mechanics and genres. This era was marked by the introduction of the active time battle system in the iconic game Final Fantasy IV in 1991. This revolutionary concept was brought to life by Hiroyuki Ito. The active time battle system, unlike the traditional turn-based systems, does not stop. Each character has a meter that progressively fills, and once full, a command can be issued to that character. The beauty of this system is that it introduces a sense of urgency and excitement, as enemies can attack or be attacked at any given time. But the innovations didn't stop there. This decade also witnessed the rise of the beat-em-up genre. Niketsu Kohakunyokun, released in 1986 in Japan, deviated from the martial arts themes of earlier games and introduced street brawling to the genre. Following its lead, Renegade, released the same year, added an underworld revenge plot. This narrative element proved to be more popular with gamers than the principled combat sport of other games. Renegade set the standard for future beat-em-up games as it introduced the ability to move both horizontally and vertically, adding a layer of complexity to the gameplay. These innovations in game mechanics and genres transformed how games were played and experienced, further cementing Japan's position as a leader in video game innovation. As the video game industry evolved, so did Japan's contributions, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in a game. Two genres in particular stand out, bullet hell and platform games. During the early 90s, 2D developers were under pressure to compete with the burgeoning popularity of 3D games. This led to the emergence of a genre known as bullet hell or danmaku. In these games, the screen is often filled with a barrage of enemy projectiles, pushing players to their limit as they navigate their way through. Toplan's Batsugun, released in 1993, is widely considered the forefather of the modern bullet hell genre. Its influence can be seen in many popular franchises today, including the renowned Tuhu Project series. Meanwhile, another genre was making waves in the video game world, platform games. These games involved guiding a character through various levels, often involving jumping between platforms of different heights. Space Panic, released in 1980, is often credited as the pioneer of this genre. It introduced gameplay centered on climbing ladders between different platforms, a concept that would become a staple in countless games to follow. These two genres, each innovative in its own way, left an indelible mark on the global gaming landscape. From the bullet-dodging intensity of bullet hell games to the level-climbing excitement of platform games, Japan's contributions have been pivotal in shaping the video game industry. From the arcade to the living room, Japan's video game innovations have consistently raised the bar for what's possible in gaming. Japan's influence in the world of video games continues to be felt today. Let's take a journey back to the late 70s, when Sega introduced Heavyweight Champ, the first video game to feature fist fighting. Fast forward to 1984, and we have Karate Champ from Data East, a game that popularized the one-on-one -on -one fighting genre. It didn't stop there. Konami's Yi R Kung Fu expanded the genre by introducing a variety of opponents, each with their unique appearance and fighting style. But the real game changer, pun intended, was Capcom's Street Fighter series. Launched in 1987, it introduced special moves that players could only discover by experimenting with the game controls. Street Fighter II, released in 1991, established the conventions of the fighting game genre. This was a pivotal moment, as it allowed players to combat not just computer-controlled fighters, but also each other. This evolution of the fighting game genre is a testament to the innovative spirit of Japanese game design. From the birth of home consoles to the rise of genre-defining games, Japan's contributions to the world of video games are truly remarkable. Who knows what the next chapter in this exciting story will be?